putting it on around the around spatula. So I said, just let me off. Out of contact. So I said, just leave me right here. So he, he chopped me off. And I walked until I found this, you know, little village or something. And somebody told me, if you're ever in Africa and you don't know where to go, like where to stay, you know, you're in some place where there's no hotel, you go to the police station. And they'll like give you a like a cell, you know, that you can sleep. Yeah. So I went to one. I went to one, and it was. Uh, and I said it was uh, British. They were British. I mean, they had well South African British accents. And I said, um, you know, I'd be happy to pay, but you know, I'm stuck here. And he said, uh, you're American. And I said, yeah. He said, oh well, we have American missionaries here. We have British missionaries, French missionaries. I'll call the, you know, I'll take you to the American missionary. So he takes me to the place, the mission where the American mission. How old were you at this time? 22. 22. Oh, was I? 21 or 22. No, 22. You're 22. <laughs> yeah, Different I, day than I, I, No, it was right after college. Yeah, 22. because I was 21 when I went to Africa, but I yeah. turned 22 in Egypt. Yeah. in Egypt. Yeah. In Egypt. Yeah. yeah. And so... What? They were so Dan nice University. and, you know, oh, I have a cousin in Maryland and, you know, you know, I'll give you things to give him like he thinks I know everyone in Maryland. And then he said, you know, we're having a guest for dinner. And the guest for dinner was the grandson of that Zulu chief who played his grandfather in the movie. Oh, my God. And so he comes to dinner and he's in a suit because they were all educated in Europe and stuff. In the prison there was a dinner? In the what? police station. In the police station? No, in the mission. The mission. Oh, the American mission. In the American mission. And he comes for dinner and he ha he's in a suit. You know, in a in a really nice suit. And he has a, a what do you call it? A, somebody who guards, like a, a security a guard. Like a bodyguard. Thank you. A bodyguard. Thank you, Zoe. And the bodyguard had a panga, you know, those kind of knife. They're like. You know, that you can slice like a machete. Kind of yeah. And he just lays it on the table right there while we're having dinner. But the guy was spoke beautifully, but I was so excited and I felt like I I, I gotta watch the movie. I'd so seen the movie, but I it, you know I I didn't yeah. I didn't you know have him. to, this is but how you do it. He played the grandson and he said that was my that was my grandfather, the famous oh, wow. Zulich King. Cool. So that was like an exciting uh, that was my exciting sort of famous person I met.